Hi everybody, my name is Sienna and welcome to Sienna's Creations. Today I'm doing a diorama on Grey Wolf. The Grey Wolf comes from the group called Mammal. Do you know the appearance of a Grey Wolf? The Grey Wolf has long legs, large feet, a narrow chest and a straight tail. It has thick fur, which can be gray, red, brown, black, or white in color. Do you know the diet of a gray wolf? The gray wolf is a carnivore. It eats almost anything from a moose to a mouse. What do you know about babies of a gray wolf? The gray wolf pups cannot see at birth. They are born in spring in den. Who are the enemies of a gray wolf? Bears, tigers, and other wolf packs, depending on the region, are the enemies of a gray wolf. Let's talk about the habitat of a gray wolf. Gray wolf lives in grasslands, mountains, forests, and tundras. Where in the world is this habitat? Wolves live in North America, Europe and Asia. Where does the gray wolf find shelter? Wolves require no shelter, although females will dig dens or use existing caves to have their pups. How has the gray wolf adopted to its habitat? The wolf has large paws, thick fur, what plants and other animals are found in this habitat? The plants found are subalpine fir, oak trees, grasses, and shrubs. The animals found are moose, bear, elk, deer, and rabbit. What is the climate like? The temperature ranges from minus 70 to 120 degrees Fahrenheit. Hence, wolves can inhabit every type of habitat. Do you know the interesting facts about this habitat? Grasslands surround every desert in Asia. Mountains are made from rocks and earth. Forests are the lungs of our planet. Now let's see how I made my gray wolf diorama. I use lots of color paper around the box. Here I have some green color paper. On the sides I have some too. And I have red, red light blue on top. Now let's go and see what else we've got. We've got sticks made out of paper. And we also got some little sticks over there. Now, and here we have the cave and it's also made of paper. And there are some marker lines to make it look real. Here I use toy figurines to represent the animals and pine trees. I also use pebbles to represent as rocks. Here I used white clay for snow. And here I used yellow clay for the middle of the sun. I also used yellow glitter marker to use for the sunlight. And I used green glitter marker for the mountain. I also used cotton balls for the sky. We have some up here and some on the sides and in the background. Finally, we used shrubs and wild grass to represent as plants. Don't forget to subscribe my videos. Bye guys, see you next time.